Michigan Tech swept Alaska last weekend at home for their 13th and 14th straight wins over the Nanooks. Assistant coach Dallas Stewart talks about the series. I think it's just big to to get two wins in a weekend and, and to actually get some consistency in that in that column. I think uh, obviously at home ice you want to do that every weekend at your home and um, to get that two wins in a, in a row is actually a key piece to uh, us just hopefully growing into the second half of the season. Freshman Mitch Meek had a pair of goals Friday while also adding an assist. It was great to have a little personal success but uh, the big thing is that the team got the win and I was playing with a great D partner, Mark Hawk, a guy who creates a lot of offense so uh, he made a lot of room for me out there and it was awesome. To right my yeah, Meeker, he works really hard every day. He's, he's steady and he's smart and he competes and he's a great uh, leader in, for this program as a freshman. He competes every day. He's got a great attitude, big smile. And for him to bring that offense really contributed to the win on Friday, but it also is help, helping him have, find confidence in the offensive zone with the puck. So it's been big for Meeker. Junior Devin Carroll has started the last four games between the pipes and talks about the wins. Um, it was really something special. I mean, last year I had one in double overtime, but that doesn't count in the... Uh, in the books as an actual win, so to be able to win on home ice, um, that's something I've always dreamed about. Uh, I love playing here in front of a lot of family and friends, so to be able to get one and then two wins was really something special and it was a lot of fun. For Devin, he comes every day, he works hard, and has a good attitude, and you know, every goaltending is, is one of those things where you hopefully find momentum through streaking together some wins. I mean, at the end of the day, we every goalie wants to play, and, and we have three of them, and, and he's earned that opportunity to continue uh, the trend to, to get a chance to play. And uh, really, moving forward, it's huge just for him, be, be, being a homegrown kid as well, like Bricer, and, and to, to have some success on home ice where he grew up is, is an amazing experience for him, and hopefully it'll keep, uh, keep him growing as a, as a player for our team, but also for him as a person. Yeah, I mean, we all know that each other is capable of going in there every single night and giving the team a chance to win, so just being able to support each other, um, staying positive, um, if we notice anything, giving some tidbits like that, but mostly just backing each other up and um, ignoring what the haters have to say and uh, just trying to stop the puck. Sophomore Raymond Bryce had three points on the weekend, including the game-winning goal Friday and an assist on the game-winning goal Saturday. Uh, I think just keeping it simple, going back to the small little details, getting pucks in, uh, forechecking well, getting pucks on net. Chance now, a shot taken there by Bryce, and there's a shot, scores! Ray Bryce with the goal! He brings energy, he brings pace, and anytime he's in on the forecheck, especially when he's playing physical and, and first man in, he's, he's forcing turnovers, but he's also creating opportunity for us to uh, execute off a forecheck, which is ultimately a goal in a system with a forecheck is to create a turnover. And so he did that in that game multiple times. And into that last minute of the game in the third period, we put him out there for that purpose to where if the loss of a draw happened, he'd be in a position to beat the guy to the puck, create a turnover, and that's exactly what happened, so it worked out. Neither, it goes forward, but the Huskies got a piece of that one. Here's Lesperance one-handing it to the side of the goal, couldn't quite get it to the front. Here's a shot by Ott, tipped in front, Lesperance scores! But his contributions were huge, not only because of what he brings in that area of forechecking, but also his 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 energy, his want to to be in the lineup, his his energy to be a great teammate. We put him in, and he he brought that in the lineup every shift, and and he got rewarded for it on the score sheet. But he also got rewarded with more opportunity and more ice time, and uh, helped us uh, win that second game in particular um, late in the game. Tech starts a four-game road trip Friday at Ferris State, and the guys talk about the keys to winning in Big Rapids. Coach has been preaching just details and uh, mental toughness, and that's the big thing with us. We got all the skill. We believe in the room uh, to, to win and compete, uh, so we just have to focus on details and uh, mental toughness. I think it just comes down to little things again. Uh, blocking shots, got to get in the shot lanes. Um, make sure you're paying attention to pre-scouts and stuff like that. Um, make sure you know what other team's running. We've talked about this a lot. I know Coach Joe Sean has talked about it a lot just with what schedule we had down the stretch here and uh, being that we're down to I think five series five weekends ten games before hopefully a playoff run um, every team we play competes and that's one thing that Ferris State will do they have high compete high uh, attention to detail in their systems so what ends up happening is if you don't work hard if you don't show up and put your hard hat on before the game 
starts and the puck drops, you're going to put yourself back. And so that's one quality about them that's great. And they're well coached. They've had a lot of experience on that coaching staff. And so they've beaten some really good teams out of conference early in the year. Um, so they've shown that they can rise to the occasion in that area. And then in, within our league, whether they've won or lost, they've, they've made a lot of games close. And so we've got to really uh, be ready to go to win some uh, greasy road games. Surveying the landscape. That puts the Huskies on the UPS system power play.